when they take your kindness for weakness and you just trying to show for that relationship. When they take your kindness for weakness, when you was just trying to show for that relationship, it's so sad and disturbing that they used to somebody real and then you finally come along and show them what real was. And all he did was take your kindness for weakness. You know, you showed them what love was up close in person. You showed them what respect was up close in person just for them to turn around and play in their own face. Because they thought they was playing in your face, taking your kindness for weakness. You see how the tables turn? When you reevaluate your thought process and fall back and take your energy back from someone who's trying to take your kindness for weakness and then they want to play victim, yeah, that energy had different. Because you in tune with yourself, you got self-awareness, self-respect to respect your neighbor, to respect whoever comes into your life. When they take your kindness for weakness and the whole entire time before they even entered your life, when they came cross paths with you, they already knew that they was going to line you up. They already knew that it was going to suck you out your thought process, let on your freedom and take your kindness for weakness and laugh at you. But to reevaluate their thought process, they became the joke within the joke of their own joke. See how that works when you take someone's kindness for weakness? It's a thought process for me. You can't take food out of somebody's mouth that is being kind to you, that's respecting you, that's showing up for you. It's the thought process for me how the mindset works. That you could really sit here and think you're going to take someone's kindness for weakness and think they're the one that is the joke within their joke of them showing up for you. When you reevaluate your thought process and reevaluate your thought process of looking in the mirror of your reflection, taking someone's kindness for weakness, you just lost out on a good one. Someone who is willing to show up for you and respect you. You know days when you couldn't see for yourself and you didn't understand the balance within yourself of showing up for yourself when that person knew how to show up for you. You know, when that person came out of pocket in a healthy way for you and gave you their peace of mind to you in a healthy way to give you motivation. When you took that person's kindness for weakness, but the whole entire time you didn't have good intentions, that person motivated you. That person put food in your table. That person fed you. That person even gave you change to put in your pocket. But you had a motive within the motive. To psych them out their thought process, let alone your freedom. Because you took their kindness for weakness. And all they wanted to do was respect you. But you're not used to someone respecting you. You're not used to someone being real to you. Yeah, that energy hit different when you take someone's kindness for weakness. It's the thought process for me. You ever came across someone and they took your kindness for weakness. And all you wanted to do was respect them. It's the thought process for me how you could say you want someone's time and day. Just to reevaluate your thought process and say to yourself is, I don't have good intentions towards you, but you're not telling them within telling them of showing up for yourself for them. When you take someone's kindness for weakness, you have hidden agendas to allow them to feel that you want this relationship and you don't because you have a hidden agenda motive. You know, you like to play victim when you get caught. You hear that energy hit different or you allow that person to believe that they're crazy around other folks. When you just took that con, when you just took that person's kindness for weakness, and all they wanted to do was respect you and show for you, it's a thought process for me. How you could sit there and take someone's kindness for weakness, and all they wanted to do was value your time and show you what real was up close in person. When you're not used to someone being real to you, you don't understand the definition as to, wow, how genuine and true someone can actually be to you, because you're so used to the unhealthy toxic behavior. Or because you took someone's kindness for weakness because you're used to the unhealthy norm of the toxic behavior. You know, just because whatever you've been through, trauma, someone overlooking you, you need to be careful who kindness for weakness you take it. You need to be careful when you take someone's kindness for weakness. It's a thought process for me. Be careful when you take someone's kindness for weakness. Because you wouldn't want nobody playing your face when it's your time to not play mind games anymore. You know, that energy hit different when you take someone's kindness for weakness. And they would have really did anything for you when you took someone's kindness for weakness. To sit there and manipulate somebody or to antagonize somebody for them to come out of character just for you. Because you're not getting your way today when you took someone's kindness for weakness. When they had to reevaluate their thought process because they need to be mentally healthy and not to feed into your BS today. Because you know why? You took that person's kindness for weakness. They love themselves enough to walk away, but you don't understand that. But that's okay, 
because you took that person's kindness for weakness. It's the thought process for me. You know, when you come across a real one, a genuine one, a solid one, a person who respects themselves to respect their neighbor, to respect you. Be careful how you treat people because there's not too many of us out here, you know, that's going to respect you for who you truly are, something that you ask for. Be careful what you ask for because when you finally get a real one, you don't even know how to handle it. You know, when a real one comes in front of you, when you least expect it, you thought they was just like everybody else to play games with. Now, when you come across a real one, you got to be kind with them. You got to be know. You got to you got to know how to understand what a real one really is. Stop fake claiming that you real because you not real. When you come across a real one, because when you finally come across a real one, you find your match today. Because why? A real one just checked you in a healthy way. It's for you to know that. Be careful when you take someone's kindness for weakness. It's the thought process for me. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. Never allow a person with illicit intentions, a hate in disguise, the enemy, to psych you out your thought process, let alone your freedom. Because you are worthy. Your life matters. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection. I truly appreciate the time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe week. God is not for sale. It's not a crime to have freedom of speech. Love yourself. Love yourself with God's protection. When someone comes into your life and you're saying that you want someone real and genuine and you want someone to finally show up for you, when you finally get that person that comes into your life, don't manipulate their character because they're being themselves. Don't try to pick at their brain and see where their mindset is at just so you can understand who they truly are when they're showing up as to who they are because they're not wearing a mask like you're wearing a mask to understand that this is a real person sitting in front of you. Well, don't be jealous or be a hater in disguise because of the fact that you finally came across a real one and because you're miserable with them being miserable, you have all these motives to psych them out their thought process, their freedom or their pockets or their eyesight. Like, be careful how you treat people because not everybody is to be played with. And I say that respectfully. No disrespect to shade. Because it's a thought process. Because when you finally come across a real one, you will never get another real one like that. Because it's one of a kind who is willing to respect you in a healthy way. And didn't have malicious intentions. Because karma is real. All because you did that, all because you dished out all that energy. And especially when you're dealing with a child of God, you have to be very careful who you're playing with. And I say that very respectfully because Moving like that with a child of God, you're only playing in your own face. And God sees everything when he sees that a person who has malicious intentions trying to play a child of God close just to suck them out their thought process or their freedom to have malicious intentions. He's not okay with that. He's not. And I say that respectfully. And you got to protect your energy out here because not everybody's deserving your time. And when you deal with God, God does not wear a mask, so he knows who's who, because a child of God doesn't wear a mask when dealing with God, and I say that respectfully. So protect your energy, because not everybody is deserving your time, and God knows who you are when when you play people close. So if you don't know how to respect your neighbor and stay in your lane... Stay away. Like it, You don't have to understand why that person's having a relationship with God. It's none of your business. Because when God is in tune with that child of God, God is in tune with that child of God. And you can stay in your lane and respect your neighbor. You don't have to like your neighbor to understand why that na- why your neighbor's having a... That God is in tune with your... Which in, was, was, was in tune with your neighbor. It's not your business. So stay in your lane, neighbor. Stay in your lane with the malicious intentions. It's like someone that thought about their freedom. Because they're not bothering you and they don't have malicious intentions towards you or others around you. Respectfully, because that child of God is staying in their lane and they respecting you with no malicious intentions. So protect your energy because not everybody's deserving your time. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Naya, genuine love, respect.